Hello beautiful people, recently GNOME has released its latest version that is GNOME 40 and the fact that it's called GNOME 40 is that it's the major release since GNOME 3 and hence they decided to change the numbering system and that's how we got our GNOME 40. Uh, previous versions were like 3.32, 3.34, 3.38 but now it's 40, only 40 and they removed the prefix completely. So yeah, that's a fact about Gnome 40. Okay, next thing is they have updated many, many cool things. So in this video, we're gonna explore what are the things they have changed and what are the things they added. Uh, the features are good or bad for the old Gnome users. Uh, I mean, we will explore everything in this video. And next is if you want to try Gnome 40, you can uh, just install Fedora 34 beta version uh, and the full version will be released at the end of this month or the next month for sure and uh, or you can install OpenSUSE here in this video I'm using Fedora 34 beta version because yeah I like Fedora that doesn't matter that. <laughs> Okay, without wasting any further time, we are just gonna start with the changes they have made. So let's jump right into the laptop screen. So the number one thing is, uh, this is the website for GNOME 40 and you can check all of the latest features that it has. Yeah, you can just explore this website it has all of the features that they have added um, they have explained everything so yeah and other than that uh, GNOME 40 has the support for recently released GTK 4 toolkit so the number one major uh, update and the best update of GNOME 40 is that it's look so if you notice if you are a previous user of gnome then uh, you must notice that the dash is at the bottom rather than on the left side of uh, the workspace and now all of the workspaces are horizontally um, configured if you notice that uh, this is the app launcher and all of the apps are like this and you can explore it uh, horizontally and uh, I think it's uh, really good and it's uh, more um, visible because uh, yeah horizontally works pretty good and other thing that you may have noticed is that uh, the apps which are open are more visible because they have this uh, icon at the bottom of every app so if you have multiple apps open so it would be uh, it, it's pretty tough to um, see that what apps are open and uh, what app do you need so uh, it's a cool feature that they have finally added this and if you have noticed that all of the apps have rounded corners now and it's pretty good and if you have noticed it's uh, these are the small changes that they have made but they are really cool and if you have noticed that activities also have a rounded corner and here also everything is rounded corner now so it's pretty amazing all of the things have rounded corner. and uh, if you talk about the gestures that they have released uh, we have three kind of gestures uh, if you use the touchpad we can use three fingers uh, just move them up and down and you will see uh, changes to workspaces and the app launcher and if you use uh, them horizontally I don't know uh, why it's not working on my machine but uh, it must work so uh, the gestures are like this uh, you have to use three fingers on your touchpad move them up and down or right to left so the you can explore the workspaces like that and the other thing is that if you don't use a uh, touchpad uh, you can use control alt or super alt and mouse uh, 
scroll bar like this so you can just uh, explore all of the workspaces like this you can move around all of the workspaces and the third thing is uh, you can just use the mouse so the next uh, major change is in the files app that is also called as noyotales uh, that is this uh, i will just close i will just minimize this okay so this is the files app and uh, they have added really uh, um, i think uh, it should be there from the start uh, but it's not too late and they have organized it uh, the like last modified first modified size and okay so the sorting of files is pretty easy now and also you can just change the size and if you create some dot zip files uh, they are now password protected so it's really good and uh, if you create a dot sh file uh, like uh, let's just try creating a file that is touch demo dot sh and we will just write something uh, in this file bin bash and we will just print the shell that Fedora 34 is using so uh, and also we have to make it executable okay. now if you see that uh, it's a obviously it's a bash script and if you see that this file has another option that is run as program or we can just uh, open it with the text editor so that's a good feature because uh, if you just want to run this program so we will just click on that so the next change is in the weather app weather app so it will it has detailed uh, descriptions of all the weather conditions uh, at, a, at a particular place and if you notice uh, here at the dash there is a separator between the favorite apps of yours and not favorite okay so these are uh, on the left uh, left side of the separator we have all our favorite apps and if we open another app which is not favorite so it's uh, separated the next uh, update is in the maps uh, app so now the maps app has the new place bubbles and shows the information for a specific location like from wikipedia open street map and others next biggest thing uh, that they have done is in the web app so the next change is in the software uh, app um, if you notice that they have also config uh, also made the icon pretty amazing and in softwares you can see the version history of uh, each and every app including the software installed from flat hub next thing they have done is the compose key and here you can see that uh, if you enable this you can just configure the compose key what you want to do and it's not enabled by default so you have to enable it by going to the settings and then just type keyboard search for keyboard and then click on compose key and now in gnome 40 you can also use the special characters like copyright symbol next thing is we have the keyboard shortcuts organized in different categories and that's really good because uh, now we are able to see uh, like it's much more accessible like we have all the key windows shortcuts so we can yeah we can add our own shortcuts here so yeah it's pretty good because earlier it was like all of the shortcuts were in uh, like in just one single list now they are categorized so it's pretty easy to for us to manage all the shortcut key. next update is in the wi-fi option 
so the wi-fi section is now easier to use uh, there are smaller groups um, they are categorized into like if you are connected to one wi-fi they will be in one category uh, next is uh, if you have used one wi-fi but you are not using right now they will be listed there and others will be uh, the wi-fi that you have never connected to and finally we have the about section in this we have now mentioned the hardware model of the machine so it's pretty good so yeah these were all of the changes uh, that gano 40 has made and personally i think it's pretty good because uh, many of the features are relevant uh then like they should have been there from the start but it's not too late they have given us a great update in GNOME 40 and I really really like the dash at the bottom because it uh, kind of gives us the feel of a Mac machine I don't know why but it does so yeah um, other than that uh, the workspaces are pretty cool and it's more accessible than the previous version of GNOME. Now that you have explored all of the features that GNOME 40 has for us, and let me know what you think on, in the comments. If you like the changes, if you don't like the changes, the older versions were good or not, let me know. And yeah, that's it for this video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have many cool videos in my mind and I hope to release them pretty soon and for that you need to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications bell and yeah like this video if you like this video if you didn't like this video do let me know in the comments why did you do like this video or you can give a thumbs down I don't I don't mind but yeah do tell me what, what was the reason why didn't you like this video I will just improve my way of communicating to you yeah that's it for this video and yeah may the source be with you